Hello, this is Mark Sidonia from LearningExchange.ptc.com, and this tutorial is using the Reference Viewer to view contents and to filter through references. The first step is to open the Reference Viewer. To do this, choose a part or subassembly in the assembly. I'll choose the grill subassembly. Now right click on this part, and now scroll down to Info, and then choose Reference Viewer. The first thing you see when you open the Reference Viewer is this parent-child graph. A parent is a feature that precedes the other more dependent features, while a child is the dependent feature that relies on previously defined features for dimensional and geometric references. With the current settings of my reference viewer, the parent is part 0003 and the child is the bulldozer assembly. The reason there is a 3 on this arrow is because there are three parent references for this current object. To see these three references, click on this button and it's all on this extrude so click on it again and these are the three references that are referencing our current object. Notice that when I place my pointer over a sub item in the parent and child graph the reference will then become highlighted. Now that you understand how to open and view the reference viewer I will show you how you can use the reference viewer to filter the references. First, references can be split up into two different types solid references, which are part references that refers to the model geometry, and component references, which are assembly references that revert to part relationships in context of the assembly. Before filtering all your references over here, the first thing you should do is choose what you want your current object to be. To change your current object, use these three buttons in the top hand corner. Right now, the current object is set to be both the component placement and the model. This explains why the current object's parent is part 003, and it is referenced to these surfaces. This is because component placement is on, and the grill subassembly was assembled using these surfaces as constraints, thus making them parent references. Now if I choose to click this button, I will set only the model as the current object, and now notice that there are no parent features found, and that the bolt but the bulldozer assembly still remains as a child. Next, if I click this button, it sets the current object to the component placement feature. Now notice there are no children because no other parts are assembled with any constraints on the grill assembly. Also notice there are now three more parent references. These parent references are the surfaces on the grill assembly that were assembled with respect to the other three parent references from part 0003. Now we're going to look at some of the reference filters on the left hand side. The first tab is Scope. It can be broken up into All, External, or Local. External are features that are referencing geometry that does not belong to the model where the feature was created, while Local are features that only reference geometry of the model in which they were created in. Often when working with very large assemblies it's best to use only external references because local references are often not necessary. The Status tab only displays references of the selected status. This could be missing, missing without backup, not updated, two excluded parents, two substitute parents, and complete. I'll choose all. The strong and weak tab only displays references of a certain type. They can either be all, strong, or weak. I'll choose all. Here the reference types help you determine what types of references you want to see in your graph. They're split up into regular, placement, relation, system, and components in the path. A regular reference is created between features and context of a single part or in the context of an assembly. A placement reference is used to place a component in an assembly. Relation references are equations written between dimensions and parameters to define relationships within the features or parts or among assembly components. System references are created automatically by Courier Parametric. These checkboxes are used to set the object types from which references are displayed in the graph. From independent children, the referencing object is an independent feature. From excluded children, the referencing object is an excluded object, while from suppressed children, the referencing object is a suppressed object. I hope this tutorial helps you better understand the reference viewer and how to filter through the references. This is Mark Tedonio from learningexchange.ptc.com. Feel free to check out more content at PTC University or learningexchange.ptc.com.